Hey guys, hi, welcome to another video. Before starting the video, I request all of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also do not forget to hit the bell icon to get all the notifications related to the lectures that I will be updating. Next, I request you that if you have any questions or queries, then you can comment me in the comment section. So here we start with the Hamilton's principle and the definition of the Lagrangian using the Hamilton's principle. So firstly we will start with the action for a physical system the action it is defined as the integral of the lagrangian l which is a function of qi qi dot and t here dot is representing the time derivative t is the time and lagrangian is the function of qi qi dot and t here qi is the generalized coordinate qi dot is the generalized velocity and t is the time and the action is denoted by i but technically action it is a function of n generalized coordinates which is defining the configuration of the system and when we write mathematically the principle of least section then it is written as delta i is equals to zero here this delta it is a greek lowercase delta and we will substitute the value of i here from this particular equation and what we will see that delta i is equals to delta integration of t1 to t2 within this limit l q i comma q i dot comma t as l is a function lagrangian is a function of this genus coordinate genus velocity and time dt is equals to zero now here this delta it means a small change and this equation will explain that the path taken by the system between times t1 and t2 it is that particular path for which the action is stationary means the action is not changing to the first order next what type of path or what path we are talking about the path here it simply refers to a curve which is traced out by the system in terms of the coordinate in the configuration space which means the curve q i t which is parameterized by the time t hamilton's principle it is also known as the principle of least action now from the calculation of the variation principle if we replace this function f where f is it is a functional and it is defined as a function of a function here y i y i prime comma x these are the three things of which f is a function and y i is a function and y i prime prime is the derivative of this function that is y i prime is equals to d y i by d x and if we replace this particular term with the lagrangian and y i is replaced by q i y i prime is replaced by q i dot and x is replaced by t then what will happen we can write the euler lagrange equation as for it will be replaced this is the euler uh, lagrange equation in terms of f so how we will replace it see we have here del f by del y i minus d d x of del f by del i y i prime is equals to zero here i is equals to one two three up to n so here f is replaced by l so we have del l and y i is replaced by q i so we have del l by del q i next it is the minus symbol will be there and we have d d x x is replaced by t and y i prime is replaced by q i dot and f it is replaced by l so this particular term will be written as minus d dt of del l by del q i dot is equals to zero and this particular equation it is defined as the lagrange equation of motion or it is identified as the lagrangian equation of motion next here the lagrangian l it is defined as l is equals to t minus b here t is the kinetic energy and v is the potential energy and a way we know that the t is equals to half mv square here this small v or the v in the kinetic energy it is the generalized velocity and this particular potential energy 
v it can be the function of generalized coordinate it can be the function of generalized velocity it can be a function of t and we know that such type of terms are said to be as monogenic terms so here v is a monogenic term next for conservative system the lagrangian equation of motion is reduced to d dt of del l del q i dot minus del l del q i is equal to 0 so this is the lagrangian equation which we have found using the hamilton's principle so that's all in this video thank you so much have a good day